So what is up guys, it's me Kamo Games HD bringing guys a brand new video and so I was reading this article on IGN and they were talking about the final hours of Titanfall. Now you guys are watching some Titanfall gameplay. I'll make sure to leave the article down in the description below which will link you to the video of called the final hours of Titanfall. Now something I saw that was interesting in this like video was the fact that they had so many ideas they wanted to do but just didn't go with it due to the fact they were scared of the gaming market at that time. Now, while watching this, I thought to myself, why are they scared of this market? It's nothing to be scared of. You know, we gamers are open to everything. Let me close this real quick. We're open to everything. You know, we're open to a lot of things that we want to see. We're tired of the standard FPS, and especially if you're making a new FPS game. You got to make it really, really distinct. Now, of course, they've always want to hit that mainstream, which might not be really interested in that type of stuff, but what's the fucking point of reading, no, not reading, but playing a video game if you're not going to express your imagination? That's It's just boring, isn't it? And that's the same thing when you're reading a book or a comic book. What's the point of always wanting realistic? Now, I know a lot of people like the realistic vibe of Call of Duty and Battlefield. Obviously, they're not really realistic in terms of actual aspect of a mind, but when I mean that... Titanfall was scared, you know, they originally, they were supposed to have dragons. Now, when I saw they had dragons, I was like, oh my god, that would have been such a good idea. And it was also running off the uh, old Ratchet and Clank uh, engine, which is kind of funny. This runs off of the source, the source engine that Val uses, so obviously you want to see a few differences. But the whole point of this video is to just explain why the developers need to stop, you know, being scared and always sticking to what they know and kind of jump off of something that's new. Now, of course, Timefall is something sort of new. There are met games out there, but they're not to this degree or verticality of saying that games, you know, you can wall run, you can do a whole bunch of parkour, you can shoot, I, you know, it's, you can jump on Titan's backs. There's a lot of really awesome, you know, oh my fucking god moments that is in this game, which I do like, but the whole thing that I was, you know, just distressed by is that they didn't want to go with this whole, you fighting zombies and dragons and a whole bunch of different other uh, mythological creatures or, you know, fancy creatures that would have been awesome. Who wouldn't want to fucking fight a, you know, a 80 foot um, dragon inside of like a 15 feet mech or whatever, you know, I'm not trying to to give, you know, uh, straight numbers here, but that would have been really cool to see, you know, a whole bunch of dragons jumping up, you know, attacking you, and you have to fight them, and, you know, jump out your, you know, it's kind of the same vibe of Titanfall, but instead you're fighting dragons instead of other humans, because who doesn't get tired of killing other humans? I love, that's what I loved about Castlevania, which came out um earlier last month, uh, in March, uh, was the fact that it kind of jumped away from fighting, you know, humans, which is so saturated in the market right now, it was, it's just boring. Like, we all know what humans can do. You know, Infamous kind of went with a different vibe with the whole conduits and everything. But it was still in the same, you know, realm of humans. I'm tired of killing humans. We killed all the humans we possibly can. You know, if we had a kill chart of how many humans we killed in entire games, it would be fucking boring. Like, we would be like, wow, we killed millions of humans. Fucking Adolf Hitler's. Um... Not saying I support that nigga or anything, but <laughs> I'm just saying that we need to finally just jump out of our comfort zone and stop like sticking to what we know. Gaming needs to stop just sticking to what it knows and jump to something new. You know, of course we got DayZ and stuff, which is a fun game. It's not saying games with humans as the enemies or protagonists aren't fun, but I'm just saying it kind of gets old and it's starting to get old. It's eventually going to get so old that nobody's really going to want to care and watch the stuff anymore. You know, so. The video is coming to a wrap here. Uh, I will definitely try and elaborate on this more in, um, you know, future videos, depending on how I feel about it, because I really wasn't feeling, you know, to do this video. But the whole thing is, I just am tired of seeing the same things in games constantly. Titanfall could have been an even better game. It could have definitely been a whole genre-defying game if it just stuck with its original idea. I really think some devs should just like start market testing and just ask us what we want truthfully instead of going off of what they assume we want. Because really at the end of the day, we don't want what they you know they're selling us. That's the whole point of making something, make it for the consumer, not yourself. So thanks for watching guys. Please rank and subscribe and peace.